Talk to your moms lately? She's in wit sex, so let, let me be the about to bounce her ass out. Tasha St. Patrick, your mother. Back on the streets where everybody's gunning for her. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. Will Detective Don Carter try to take out Tasha? I want you guys to leave your predictions down below. Let me know how y'all think it's gonna play out. This is gonna be a quick video. Just wanna go over some of the details about this old Tasha storyline because we haven't really been seeing her like that at all this season. But I do think when we do see her, Tariq is taking a big risk by going there in the first place, which could yield him some very negative consequences. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped a video about Little Dirk joining the show and Brayden and Effie once again on another crazy mission. And also check out the video that I did about Detective Don Carter and Noma. Will there be a betrayal? And check out those exclusive picks for episode nine if you have not seen them as well. But let's talk about the topic of discussion, your girl Tasha. We haven't really been seeing her like that at all this season. Just a few times, usually Tariq goes there to check up on her, to make sure everything is good, and also to get advice from his mother. But as I told you guys, with Tariq going there, it's gonna put Tasha at risk of being caught as far as her location. And we know Tariq, he does have enemies, which will give them a better opportunity to take her out if they had to. A better opportunity to have leverage over Tariq because if Tasha is in trouble, we know Tariq would do anything for his moms. And the last thing that he wants is somebody trying to hem her up and end up taking her out. Now, we know Detective Don Carter, he told Tariq at the very beginning of the season that soon enough, Tasha will be getting out of witness protection and she will be a target for anybody that wants to take her out. Now, we know Tasha had issues with Tommy in the past, and it's one of the main reasons why she's in witness protection right now. But we know Tasha and Tommy, they squashed their beef at the end of last season, so everything's good on that part. But we also know that Tasha, she took a shot at Monet. She popped Monet. Monet does not know nothing about it. And Tasha, she did make that joke about you know, Monet not knowing. And for a moment, I was like, man, they're never going to go back to that storyline but when Tasha made that joke, it started to make me believe that maybe this secret will get out. We know it's power and we know that secrets don't last at all. So don't be surprised if somehow, someway, Monet learns that Tasha was the one that shot her. The question is, we don't really know how Monet is going to respond to that. She's thinking that Tariq did it and of course she forgave him and Tariq is not going to say anything after that because he wants to protect his mom at all costs but we know everything was set up by Diana and Drew. So at the end of the day, you would think maybe she will forgive Tasha if she knew the truth anyway. But in power, you just never know how it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what type of mentality that Monet is gonna have if that truth is revealed. The thing is, besides Monet, we know Tariq, he does have other enemies. And if Tasha does get out, I could see Detective Don Carter putting out that information about her finally being released from witness protection and also what location she can actually be at. This would be great news for somebody like Noma because Noma, she wants to take down Tariq in Monet, right? So having leverage over Tariq by being able to get to his moms, that's great news for her. That way she can have a chance to neutralize him if she has to. And it also gives Carter an advantage as well because he will know that intel from the jump because he's law enforcement, right? So we're going to see how it all plays out. At the end of the day, expect the unexpected. It's the final two episodes. And remember, they're going to go for a crazy shock value moment. In my opinion, I think it will be similar to last season. Last season's episode nine and 10 with Tommy popping back up and then Drew and Diana coming up with that game plan. I mean, that whole thing was crazy, right? So we're going to see what they're going to do with these final two episodes. And I am expecting some type of twist to pop off as well. If you're going to take out Tasha, you got to respect that she is a power OG. And for her to only have, what, two episodes out of the season, barely any screen time at all, and then you take her out, I don't think that's cool. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not the biggest Tasha fan at all, but still, you got to give her, you know, the proper send off if you're going to take her out. 
That's just my opinion. This is one of the reasons why I believe Tasha will be okay because usually when characters are about to be taken out, they get way more screen time than they normally would get. So I believe she should be good, but then again, I can be completely wrong. And I'm not saying that Tasha won't get hit because somebody can shoot her as well. She can get popped, she can struggle for her life as well. Now, to be honest, a proper send off will be like how they're doing with Monet. Monet, she got the, you know, the origin story about her life. We saw, you know, some of her background. We've been seeing, you know, her trying to build her family back up. Of course, she does continue to lie, but she's been here for a while. And I believe they kind of gave her the proper send off if it was her last season, which is going to be her last season regardless. But I'm talking about if she was to get dropped off. So who knows how it's all going to end? All I'm saying is this. If Tasha does get released from witness protection and her enemies find out where she can possibly be at, they're going to come for her, right? Detective Diane Carter, maybe even Noma and hell. Like I told you guys, maybe even Monet if she finds out the truth. And maybe she's not so forgiving this time. And if she does try to go at Tasha, what y'all think Tariq gonna do? He's gonna do whatever it takes to protect his mom, regardless of who it is. So anybody could get dropped off trying to go at Tasha. I could see Tariq taking down any of them if they try to make that move on his moms, but we're going to find out soon enough. I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. We're getting closer to the final two episodes of season four, and I'm expecting a crazy, you know, twist, a crazy ending that may just piss a lot of people off. These last two episodes will definitely be talked about in my opinion, and you know, I can't wait to see them. I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.